Hello Commanders and welcome in episode 18 of the Chilean Empire series. In the last part we stopped in a very crucial moment where our navies they are clashing with the German navies with the waves of cruise missiles. Today we are going to see what is going to happen. Are we going to successfully beat these navies and secure our coasts or we are going to be dead? Well, this is uh, get, getting chaotic, exciting, but we need to do what's necessary to uh, secure the Chilean Empire coasts as we are under uh, naval attacks from all the sides. Finland, Germany, they are launching a uh, naval uh, bombardment from all the sides. And here I'm going to use my strength point of max level naval patrol aircraft plus the cruise missiles and we shall see what will happen. At the same time, Germany possesses cruise missiles here he is uh, launching a lot of uh, conventional warheads to my uh, towards my uh, cruiser and also he is launching cruise missiles but they are not coming in my way they are going to the way of my cities looks like he is going to nuke one of my cities there the good thing here that I have only one cruiser, it's not a stack of cruisers. If it was a stack of cruisers with those cruise missiles, I am going to be heavily damaged. But one cruiser, I am prepared to sacrifice it, no problem. Okay, let's see what will happen here. It's going to be an exciting moment. Okay, our cruise missiles, they are coming from all the ways there. To the direction of the Finnish destroyers and... okay. The Finnish destroyer has been destroyed. This is good. Now let's look at the German navies. My cruise missiles have started to, to land. Ah, he is launching a nuclear clu uh, cruise missile on my city of La Serena. That's bad. That's bad. My city is doomed. My anti-missile is a little bit far. Okay. My city, bye-bye. It's a chemical warhead. You hear this noise, guys? <laughs> you hear this noise? Missiles from all sides. All of you wanted to see some nuclear warfare, and here you see it in front of you. But uh, we are the we are the victim here. Germany is oppressing us here. He is being uh, naughty. Okay, I still have uh, two missiles coming to his way, and he killed our cruiser. Well, this was expected to be honest because. I knew that uh, one cruiser is not going to face those uh, level 2 cruise missiles, so no problem. But here, I need to kill his stack of cruisers. Like that, we can go to those uh, submarines that are, that are positioned in the south safely. Okay, mission accomplished. Oh, two missiles, they went there freely. They are just going to sink in the, in the ocean without killing anything. Okay, good. We killed the Finnish destroyer, we killed the German cruiser, and now it's the turn to those submarines in the south. My naval patrol aircrafts, they are going to do the work here. You see that? He disappeared. He is running away. He is running away after he saw that I'm coming for him with the naval patrol aircrafts as I destroyed his destroyer. Now he is going to run away. The good thing that my naval patrol aircrafts, they have uh, a good... Uh, sonar so um, I, I, I have good um, I have good percentage that I will be able to uh, locate him now it's time to retrieve our city of Santiago and decontaminate La Serena I'm waiting for my strikers to arrive they take ages to arrive there I need to uh, deploy them in the south before uh, the German land armies advances there these National Guards have landed in the city of Cape Town, but uh, they have been bombarded by uh, attack wing. From the notifications, Germany have deployed some air force to uh, prevent me from getting to his uh, cities in South Africa. As I said in the last episode, this assault is only to keep him busy. And this is uh, the table, this is the ranking, as uh, one of our followers have asked for it. I am the fourth now, after France jumped to third and uh, he took all of uh, North America. By the way, I respoke and uh, opened the negotiations and the conversation with France, and uh, I hope that he's going to accept the peace. I don't want uh, France to intervene in this war because it's going to be the end of us. 
I don't want him to intervene until at least I push off the Finnish Ukrainian German assault from us. Okay, let's put uh, this uh, NPA on our coasts to scout any uh, nearby submarines or anything. This is Santa Cruz de la Sierra. I'm going to build level 3 airbase there after we lost our level 3 airbase in the capital Santiago to build the naval patrol aircraft. These are German submarines have appeared and uh, we lost the city of La Serena to Rogue State. After he uh, launched two chemical warheads on it, we lost it to Rogue State. These are submarines. He is attacking my city with attack submarines. Guys, please, never attack cities with submarines. They do not have any damage on cities. They o the only damage that submarines can commit is against ships or only against other submarines. They cannot deal damage to cities. They do not destroy buildings. They do not harm land armies. Only if these land armies are in a transport convoys in the, in the sea. If they are on land, you will commit no damage to it. So please just stop using your attack submarines to attack land. Let's plant some counter ops here in uh, De La Sierra. Let's go to the airbase level 3. Even my airbase level 2 have been uh, damaged with their, with their agents. So now I need to wait until the airbase level 2 is fixed to uh, start the level 3. Let's retrieve our city of La Sirena. So here I am playing 100% defensive. I couldn't manage to go in the offensive because, to be honest, I have been overwhelmed with uh, five nations attacking me at the same time. This is Ukraine retrieving uh, the cities of East Ala United Kingdom. Uh, the good thing that we restored peace with France, you can see that I'm no more at war with France, but the bad thing that um, we are overwhelmed here, this uh, war have uh, met with some family commitments, so I could not really uh, stay 100% active during this war, but yet I'm going to try and keep fighting till the end. First of all, for my name, and second of all, for my followers, because they won't show. They want a good fight and they want good resistance. So this is what I am giving you guys. A very good resistance from the Chilean Empire. We are not going to fall easily. They need to lose all of their armies. They need to lose all of their ships until they could land in our empire. So this is what we are going to try and to do. We are going to try and inflict as much damage as possible to them until they destroy us. If they could, because I don't think they will be able to destroy us. Yes, they are uh, newcomers, they are not professional players. But the good thing about the European team is their teamwork. They are attacking together. This is very rare, you do not see this all the time in public maps. Yet I saw this in my game of Chile. The European team is... Uh, is Playing together, actually, you see that Finland, Ukraine and Germany and United Kingdom have been moving uh, all along together. France, okay, he is playing a little bit solo there. He is uh, doing his own campaigns and his own wars. But the rest of them, they are doing good job here. Okay, our National Guards have been destroyed in South Africa. His uh, Air Force have uh, destroyed us there. Now I have prepared a stack of five cruisers, I'm going to send it to the north. I really fed up from playing defensive here because I'm going to uh, use all of my resources, all of my cities, they are going to be bombarded and destroyed. This is not a good choice. The good choice here is to go straight for the offensive. I'm going to send my stack of five cruisers to the North Sea again and again and try to keep them busy there and stop them from sending more submarines and ships to my homeland cities. At least I will keep their navies there. When my stack of five cruisers go to the North Sea, I am going to try and rebuild here in my nation. See you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.